Oh, I wanted to know if Dr. Morris has ever discussed on YouTube the comment from people, we're all going to die sometime? Yeah, interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, organic produce is waxed also. Yeah. But I'll tell you this. If I had to choose wax or pesticides, I'll take wax. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. The sad thing. It's like I've been probably a couple of months here starving. The bananas are so-so. The grapes are so-so. The blueberries are bitter. The blackberries are bitter. It's like, what? Sad stuff. Photos were taken after using produce cleaner full strength. How sad. Let's take a look. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I tell you what. It's sad, sad, sad. You know why? Because man hasn't learned that his food source is his health or his dis-ease. One of the two. You know, it's sad that we have a huge modality as such that ignores the chemistry and ignores the very fact of types of foods, chemistry of foods, and that reaction in the body. And it's obvious. And it's obvious because when you change your diet, all those things go away. <laughs> Funny stuff. Yeah, this is the photo he sent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you're on an apple here. Looks like. Maybe not. You can see the wax. Absolutely. The sad thing also is the level of rads that they radiate this food at. You, you wouldn't radiate a human even close to these rads. What is it they're saying? 150 rads or something? I don't know. 150,000 rads, I mean. It's like, what? A uh, common uh, x-ray is just under one rad. And so I remember a lady coming in. She had fairly large breasts, a little dense, of course. And they, they, because it was so dense, with fibrocystic stuff, she they took seven shots, seven views, and that was enough to burn her cells and flip them into cancer cells. So that's seven rads. Now, when you look at you look at uh, CAT scans that are non-digital, you're what 250 rads. I mean, it's insane. And some of these individuals, that poor little one we showed you the last video, uh, just lots of that little girl, how many x-rays and CAT scans and MRIs that she had. One was that part of the heart wasn't developed. You know, I think you're going to see a lot of this, guys. And I think you are the beautiful key to wake up this planet. Because as far as I can tell in my uh, 45 years doing this, you guys are the only ones that are awake enough and know enough to fix people. And this is particularly true in your knowledge of the lymphatic system and the kidney connection. It don't matter what medical doctors think about it. You can have a medical doctor telling you right in your face that you don't know what you're talking about and you need to go, you know what? You're not taking my power. You don't know what you're talking about. See, because you have proof. You have evidence. And I love evidence. And we got tons of it. I made sure of that through all these years that we've had so much evidence that uh, going to hurt going down the throat of some people. But uh, we're all going to die sometime. These are comments by souls that are still on journeys that are, have no, uh, they're not ready to wake yet. It's not, a, it's not a negative thing. It's just that these individuals don't care. They're having fun eating the way they're eating and enjoying their life. They don't have any self-awakening yet. The journey to God is always marked with self-awareness first. Self-realization, self-awareness. This is uh, always in the, uh, in the concepts and understanding of spirituality. That as you develop, you reach self-realization first. Meaning that you see yourself and everything else is coming from the same source. It's, a, it's not something you learn. It is something that 
It is. It's just it, it, when you have that cosmic consciousness experience, that's the experience. It's nirvanic. It's ecstasy because now you're in, you see all life is tied together and you expand like unbelievable. And it gives you. It's just the way it is. Life is that. So when you get to that level, it's unbelievable. But that's only the first step. So those that say these things like that, they're just not ready. And if they're not ready, okay, don't waste your time. But if you want to use them as practice material, <laughs> you could use them as practice material. You know, play a little bit, and you know, home your skills on uh, your dialectics, on your ability to converse, you know, like a Pythagorean or Socratean type of thing. You know, and you just you keep you you you're playing. Uh, I don't know. You got to learn where that karma might stop and start doing that, but. Uh, sometimes it's fun to, to take someone on a journey of thought and awareness, uh, you know, just down a road of awakening, you know. But play with that and have fun with that because you're developing, each and one of you are developing your skills to be the light and to give the light to others. The health part of it is just the first stage of it to give you a good doorway into your greater self and your greater ability to help others from a much higher level. Oh, yeah. So all these type of people you run into like this is homing you. It's a way that it, it, it pulls you back from too much excitement, you know, and wanting everybody to, to learn and grow and get healthy and stuff like that. Everybody doesn't want it. So it's like, okay, you can't, you can't uh, get upset with that, you know, because everyone is on a different level in their journey. Some souls just get got here, talk to plenty of those. Uh, if you get out of the body, you'll talk to many inhabitants of other worlds that have never ever been to this level yet. So, uh, but anyway, it's like you have to kind of, um, you know, give them love and go, you know, sad. But uh, the thing is, Every time you talk and converse with someone and expose the truth to them, remember you're talking to a soul. You're not even when you're talking to your little baby. Let's say you just gave birth and you brought your your infant home from the hospital. Let me tell you, that isn't an infant. That body might be a little bitty, and that mind needs to co correlate and everything else. But I want to tell you, that is not a little being. <laughs> uh, not in today's world. You might have a soul that's never been at this level yet. And that that'd be a rowdy one too. Those are the kids that really they just don't take discipline well. They don't they don't listen. I, I I'm familiar with that. But there are those that now coming in that are very awake, and you're seeing a lot of them. A lot of you moms and dads, especially in this field, you're going to have those higher souls because they need this level of energy and this level of health to be able to uh, articulate their journey here because you don't want to bring them back down. They're here to, to, to get their higher levels to finish up here. And you'll see those that are finishing up. They're, they're detaching themselves. They don't care anymore. They're letting go. And you can't judge them because they're getting themselves free. You got to get yourself free, because if you don't, you're in a world of untruthfulness and so much corruption and so much hate and so much of stuff. It's just disgusting.